Well, good evening, and welcome to a uh, Monday edition of uh, Pastor, What Did You Mean? And this week is really special, a uh, privilege to, to ask Will Petty, what did you mean? Yesterday morning, uh, Will Petty, was part of our Youth Sunday, uh, provided us a teaching. Uh, so welcome. Welcome to uh, this uh, Monday conversation. It's Thank good you. to have you. It's great to have you, Will. So uh, the first thing I thought we could do was really ask you, um, tell us about yourself, Will. Uh, so um, right now, uh, I'm a senior. Uh, well, I'm going into my okay. senior Rising year at senior. Uh, Reagan High School. Yeah. Um, so I've, I've done Rock Youth ever since. Um, I was a sixth grader. Um, okay. And so I've been on, you know, Kentucky when we used to do that trip. Yeah. And, um, so I, I've been with this ministry for a while. And um, uh, sophomore year, I, I became a, uh, like a student leader Okay. Uh, within the ministry. So Okay. Rising senior. Um, I've got this right, I think, Reagan High School. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're right. Uh, any, any interest, thoughts uh, about post high school? Um, any idea of plans right now, or we're still kind of waiting and uh, see what? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about going into engineering right engineering. now. Engineering, so. okay, all right, okay. Well, uh, yesterday, uh, you, um, this was one of the first times, I think, in You Sunday, we've really had a, um, a teaching. Of, I think Brian called it a, a sermonette. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah, I think uh, that's a pretty uh, fitting, <laughs> that was fitting description. Yeah, a, a wonderful uh, teaching. And uh, so let's let's talk about that part first. Did did uh, did Brian approach you about that? Was that something that you were like, man, I want to be the one to give it? Or uh, well, how did that all work? Um, well, so Brian came up to me and uh, he sort of like asked me if I could do it, and okay. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll I'll try to figure it out. And so he sort of. Um, guided me on to the topic of missions. Um, okay, all right. Um, since that's generally uh, what Youth Sunday is about, yeah. is uh, we've got okay. the high school trip, we've got the middle school trip, and so um, Youth Sunday is just a really great way to sort of talk about what we did this summer. and um, Yeah, and just have a, a message that would be fitting for that mm -hmm. as well. Did, um, did, did you, uh, did, were you fulfilled by it? Were you enjoyed? Were you blessed? Were you a nervous wreck? How did, what it was, uh... <laughs> well, I was a, a little nervous because at first okay. I really just didn't know exactly where to start. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, missions is, it's, it's one of those topics that yeah. it's so big that it's hard to sort of find a very, like, specific spot to sort of yeah. talk about. Um, but Brian uh, directed me some, to some, like, devotionals and stuff and, so I was able to find some scripture and uh well you did you did a wonderful job. I um I could not have known that you were nervous about it at all. So you <laughs> did a, a really great job of um just uh, sure letting the spirit speak to you as you looked at the devotionals and commentaries and scripture and um uh yeah, trust me. I um I don't know if I'll ever be up there enough to ever not be nervous. So yeah. uh it's it's a high privilege, right, to go mm -hmm. into God's word and then to to, uh, to allow him to speak through you yeah. uh, to everyone yeah, who's I agree. listening. There's a, there's a message he has for everyone, and, and uh, you had the honor of bringing it to us yesterday. So mm -hmm. that was wonderful. So missions, I do want to ask you a couple of what did you mean. Okay. Okay. So uh, you, you guided us first uh, through the Great Commission, yep. Matthew 28. And um, you, you said about it that, um, you know, it is a direct command. Mm -hmm. What did you mean by that? Well, I think uh, in a lot of the New Testament, often we're we're instructed to um, go by Jesus' teachings by what he does. So okay. we'll look at his actions, and then we'll try to become like Jesus. And um, there, but there are a few cases when Jesus does directly tell us to do something. And so yeah. I think that's just when it's important to the level that Jesus instructs us himself to Very do it. Good. That I think that's. That's something important. So. Oh, that's really awesome. Well, and um, speaking of, you know, we've broken into the One Story series, and we'll, mm -hmm. we'll be back there next week uh, with the Gospel of Luke. But, you know, um, the Great Commission is in Matthew. Mm -hmm. And if uh, some of our audience remembers in Matthew, uh, Matthew really emphasizes the words of Jesus, the teachings and sermons. Mm -hmm. And so it does make sense that that would be where his instructions are. And, um, the direct command. It's, it's, it's plan A as well, right? He, in yeah. that, he tells us to um, make disciples. Mm -hmm. right? what, um, what do you think he means by that? What does that look like? In Making disciples? Well, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it can start in a lot of places. And one of those yeah. places I think it starts is uh, in the youth ministry, which is sort of, um, yeah. that's, that's where I went to when talking about uh, mentorship and discipleship. Yeah. Um, 
is because uh, the youth is just a great place to start on that. And um, it, it's just discipleship is a, it's, it's important um, in, all, in all places in the church, whether it be yeah. small groups. Um, we, we even have like D groups, which are small right. groups for, okay. um, for our youth ministry and okay. just the youth ministry itself. Um, yeah, no doubt. So that's where um, we're also in the commission. He says, teaching them to obey all that I have instructed you. Is, mm -hmm. That's it's, again, what does he say and how do I teach it and then teach it to someone else? So in the youth ministry, next gen investing. Fantastic. Well, then you move to what I believe is one of the most under, um, if there's such a thing, underappreciated mm -hmm. passages in all of Scripture. And it's yeah. a verse that, um, again, these are the words of Jesus, John 16, 7. Yep. I believe, is that right? Um, and um, what, what does that tell us? What, what does John 16, 7 tell us about missions particularly? Why did you use that passage? Well, it's, it's very relevant to missions because it sort of describes how we're supposed to be guided th through it. I mean, okay. and, and even during, it says even in uh, Matthew that even then, even when Jesus was ascending, yeah. people were still doubting him. And so I think the Holy Spirit is a very necessary part yeah. to, um, to, to spread the word because I, I don't think missions would really be possible without it. That's and so it. Amen. To, to sort of talk about um, missions without um, looking into how the Holy Spirit is um, uh, is with us is yeah. it's, it's 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 difficult. So yeah, and and maybe you know uh, John sixteen seven um, we'll read it here as well for for our um, viewers. That, but mm -hmm. nevertheless, Jesus is telling his disciples at this time, I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper, the Holy Spirit, will mm -hmm. not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Uh, you know, the thing that struck me one time looking at that for the first time that made it so powerful was this is Jesus among, you know, his followers. I, I always imagine mm -hmm. if he were here with the three of us, right, or the two of us, and um, he were to say, um, I know you think this is really great that I'm here with you, mm -hmm. but it's better if I go. I mean, it's, yeah, <laughs> think be about that, right? It's yeah. like, really, Jesus, it's better if you go? Um, because the Holy Spirit has that much more power to indwell mm -hmm. us and live in us and, and uh, encourage us, right, to missions, which is mm -hmm. what you're saying. That's the prompting. That's the leading and teaching. So that's a wonderful mission uh, verse. Thank you for mm -hmm. sharing that. And then finally, and you've mentioned this earlier, but um, you, you said again kind of the how about it. Uh, mm -hmm. is, is allowing the Holy Spirit to move you, but also the how is to be part of mentorship in mm -hmm. some way. Um, what did you mean by that, and what might that look like practically? Yeah, well, I think um, when, when talking about missions, it can be really easy to talk about, but very hard to yeah. do, right? I mean, yeah. it's, such, it's such a big command to, um, to minister to all nations that sometimes right. it's like, well, I want to do that, but where do I start? And yeah. mentorship is a very, it's a great way to really get, get started into helping to spread the Word of God because um, often it's a way that you can um, uh, sort of start talking to people who are already Christians, which is, right. tends to be a little bit easier than, yeah. you know, going, yeah. going yeah. into somewhere where uh, people either don't believe or they've never sure. heard the wor Word of God. Sure. Um, and so I think practically that, um, that entails really um, uh, ministering to uh, people in small groups, right? Okay, yeah. So small groups are a great way to do that, um, especially uh, yeah. diving a, a bit deeper into God's Word yeah. um, to help you, to help understand it so that when um, somebody else approaches you about it, it, yeah. can, be, it can be a lot easier to talk about it. Um, Man, that's a, that's a good thought, too, because we don't think about that as sometimes in our small groups or mm -hmm. just with our, our, our close friends who are brothers or sisters in Christ that um, why don't we continue to share and, and sort of... Um, grow in that knowledge and understanding and confidence mm -hmm. and sharing it to all if we can share it again to one another and, and, and have mm -hmm. those conversations more about what the gospel means to each other mm -hmm. and we mentor one another yeah. yeah that's a good that's a good word will well any is there anything else i missed that uh you would like to share or um, uh, I, I think that's, a, that's okay. about it well uh, folks you can see what a wonderful um uh, addition to Youth Sunday. Thank you mm -hmm. so much, Will. And if you haven't had a chance, please go watch yesterday's uh, service and, and listen to Will's teaching. And uh, we will be back uh, next week with uh, Pastor Beatty in the One Story series uh, with uh, the Gospel according to Luke. And who knows, Will, uh, 
you know, we wish you the best in your pursuit of mm -hmm. engineering, but the Lord leads, maybe you'll be sitting in this seat saying, Pastor, what did you mean one day? <laughs> uh, it certainly was a, a wonderful start to that. So thanks a lot. Right. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for uh, being here to talk with me. Absolutely. My it. privilege. Have a great week.